start getting on a run, obviously confidence starts to, to, to get very high. Uh, we see a different Sean Davis now than we have uh, early in the season. He's been very key for us. I think Alex Wheel has done a very good job playing as one of the wing backs, but also now as one of the interior midfielders now that Daniel Royer has been injured. And then I think you see guys like Gonzalo who can still make a difference coming off the bench. A lot of guys. I can name, I can name every player on the roster right now that's playing better now than they were at the beginning of the season. If I can ask you, Sasha, after the final whistle blew, what was said to you by that Orlando player? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing worth talking about. Okay. I just thought that, um, that um, other players might have, another player was fouled. They might have uh, went to a legal foul there late. Might have been a red card foul. How do you feel about that? I don't know. I got tackled pretty hard, and then there was a lot of talking afterwards. Uh, a little bit too much talk, I think. You, you don't really want to do that as a player. I don't want to be a guy that, that's, uh, that, that's talking trash, but I also want to defend myself and defend my teammates. So in the end, most important thing is that we won tonight, but uh, I think we could have all done without the handbags. Yeah, uh, Lewis uh, said there earlier that uh, he thought your emotional way you were playing uh, helped the team a lot. Well, I think, I think sometimes uh, little moments in games can, can uh, spur guys on. Frustration, getting tackled, a lot of fouls, a little bit of a chippy game, but I, I think we, st we we got all fired up and then we all got behind each other. We all stuck behind each other, and I think that's a, a sign of a good team. I said this week was going to test our character very much, but uh, I meant more of the Cincinnati game and then going to Portland after, but this is a good start. What was the second half of adjustment you guys made against Rebus? Uh, he's obviously a very dangerous player, and he still got in behind us once, but Aaron Long did a great job to, to catch up and make a huge play on him to get the stop. Um, I think we just had to be, uh, the three guys in the back just get their line uh, more in order. I think they obviously had a game plan to play behind us a lot, and uh, early on we just didn't adjust to it well. Second half, much better. And also, Mike really he made three big run back stops, and especially on Kakong's last one. Just talk about his play and how quickly he seems to be comfortable out there. Well, Amir's done a great job of integrating himself into our team. I think from the first moment, uh, we saw that he was a great guy, first and foremost, and, and so that always makes for a good teammate. So he showed up with a smile on his face, uh, very eager to learn, and also very eager to learn English. So that has helped him integrate himself into our team uh, a lot. And then not only that, he's obviously a very talented player who has taken to the way that we play very quickly. Um, ceiling is very high. He's obviously very intelligent and very calm on the ball, so it helps us pass out of the back a lot. And then defensively, the guy's uh, very strong. Just out of curiosity, how many deep runs have you had in Belgium with Andrew Lick in the Belgian uh, FA Cup? Have you ever won the title? The FA Cup? No, I haven't. Uh, I went to the semifinals once. That was the furthest we got, and then we ended up losing in penalties. So, um, yeah, I really want to win the Open Cup. It's a, it's a big uh, historic competition in our country that uh, I'm very excited about. Yeah, he was rubbing his hands all over Aurelian Collins' face. And, uh, three or four of us on our team were telling him to stop because uh, even though he was joking around, it's, it's a red card offense. Uh, you can't be touching people on the face. So we were trying to help him and tell him to stop, but uh, I don't know. It was very bizarre. Any general feelings on the video review or anything like that? No. I think, uh, I think in the end it's, it's going to – it's going to help get a lot of a, a lot more calls correct. Um, it is what it is. There's probably going to be growing pains with it, and it's going to slow the game down a little bit. But in the end, I think it's good for the sport. Thank you. All right. Cheers.